Give it a little flick of the wrist. Boom. Nice. And we're here at Osakana with our main man, Daniel. He dry ages fish, he cures fish. Mm. We're gonna see today whether or not he can make fish taste like steak. You dry age fish. Hell yeah, we dry age fish. <laughs> it makes it more tasty. I didn't even know that that was a thing. It's commonly practiced in Edomaya style sushi. They control how the fish is killed, the more amino acids are developed. Just like what happens when you guys dry age beef, the more umami is what kind of gives it that quote unquote beefy kind of flavor. So you have some dry aged bonito and we have some fresh bonito so we can kind of check out what the difference is in those flavors and textures today? Yes sir, hell yeah, I got some bonitos for you guys. I've never broken down a fish before, but I'm anxious to embarrass myself. How about you? Today's the day. Let's do it. We are going to do a Japanese style fish breakdown. I like to cut all these fins off. Bring it up here, boom. And I follow the head and the collar of the line. I meet the other side as well. Open the fish up. Guts. Give it a little cut. Sprinkle a little bit of salt. What exactly is the purpose of the salt here? Killing some of the harmful parasites. Wrap it up. All nice, ready to be filet. I've shown you guys what to do. Totally, Sorry, totally guys. remember everything. Seems really easy, yeah. Let's do it up. All right. Ooh. Ooh, it feels like a fish. When we do the sukibiki, mm -hmm. which is what this technique is called, where we use the blade of the knife to remove the scale, we actually want to do smaller motion. We teach our butchers start at the base of the knife and do one long cut all the way down so you have a nice even cut. We don't ever want to like go like this, so it's a very unnatural thing. So now taking the head off. This is where I was a little bit iffy. Follow the head and the collar. Other side, all the way back. And give it a little flick of the wrist. Boom. Nice. Now let's get a little bit of salt in there. And then brush it? Yes. All right, Daniel, what do you give me? Like a B minus, a C plus? B minus for first time. When we start the filet, I follow by those fins that you guys cut. Pushing up against the bone? I could feel it, I could hear it. Check it out. Boom. All right, so one motion. All the way, and straight back, confidently. You're a confident man. Turn it to the other side, angle down a little bit more. We appear to have a oh. clean cut. We have a clean cut. Not bad. Right. Not, not good. Not bad. But not bad. So I'm going to I shame you on how much meat you missed out on. Wow. You don't have to be that shocked. You gotta now do the sakudori. You wanna follow the pin bone right down the bloodline. This is not too good. This was good. I'll wait outside. I got a B minus on my test. What did Brink get here? B minus as well. Wow, oh, you are a kind, very kind. So I'm gonna bang out this dry aged fish, doing a definitely a better fillet than Brent. <laughs> this does have a similarity to dry aged beef, where just by seeing the the muscle structure and how firm it is, you can kind of get a visual cue of what the texture is gonna be like. So this I'm going to keep on boning. Oh, okay. For the experiment, let's give it some taste of the fish now. You guys want to try the fresh one first? Great. Holy sh! that's good. The texture is really, really light. It breaks apart really nicely. Buttery almost. Yeah. yeah. All right, let's try the dry aged one. There's a lot more going on there. I mean, the, the bite is like exponentially better. Just little umami bump at the, mm -hmm. at the end there. How can we elevate it to make it taste more beefy? I think we might want to incorporate a little bit of beef fat. So let's do one with adding a little bit of beef fat to it. What else can we do? Soy sauce, mushroom, and black pepper. Brent, what's your, what's your idea? I'm gonna reference an omakase episode from the restaurant Sasabune. They actually cure their fish in olive oil, fresh herbs, thyme, rosemary, garlic. See what that turns out like. For me, like steaks are just like my dad doing like Worcestershire and a ton of garlic. So how about we do, do one with just some like backyard barbecue spice? Can't go wrong. Can't go wrong. We got our four cures and we have our fish here, our boneless freshie. Uh, and that's the seven day cured bonito. I'm gonna put the dry aged guy in the bottom and I'll probably put my fresh guy on top. We just need to cure these for 10 minutes. 
Uh, let's pull some uh, fish out of some baths. This style of grill is called konro. Let's taste the fish now. Garlic thyme, rosemary, and olive oil. Well, I'm shocked at how much that like took. But only 10 minutes. 10 minutes. Not very beefy. Just tastes like really good fish. We'll try the dry H one. Even a little bit more beefy. Everything just pops a little bit more. Really nice, but I wouldn't say quite steaky. Rendered beef fat. All right, here we go. This is my guy. Definitely more beefy. Definitely more beefy. I actually like compliments the fish though. Right. It's not overbearing at all. Like, it was really nice. What are your hopes and dreams for this uh, dry aged one here, Daniel? I have a feeling this one's gonna be nice. We're going to start seeing a lot more of that umami ump notes. Now we're getting somewhere. Yeah. I think the dry aged texture with the bump of beef fat, that is really freaking good and I'd say steaky. The barbecue. The rub overpowers the fish. Yeah, yeah, let's try the dry age for that one. So much better with the dry age one than the fresh one. That's the first note where I was like, huh, that's a little like actually beef fatty. Yeah. The smoky soy with the mushrooms. That's definitely the best flavor profile overall. Everything works really well together. Before we try the dry age, do you think it's going to be better? I believe that it's just going to intensify. It even feels like a winner. I'm thinking I like the fresh one more just on its own. Right. The dry aged one might actually taste more like beef though. Mm hmm I surprisingly think the Worcestershire took the best to the dry age. I thought the soy sauce was gonna make all of it better, but I feel like we actually lost some of the like really nice notes of that marinade. Mm. But do any of them taste like steak? Not really. Fish tastes like fish, and beef tastes like beef. Yep, land and ocean. Boom, heard it here first. All it took is five hours to figure it out. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs>